Yes, you can absolutely buy a good dishwasher under $1,000, just not this one. Bosch dishwashers have not been available for under $1,000 for almost three years. However, you'll learn four good alternative options that are actually available under $1,000 in this video. We'll highlight the best features of each so you can pick the one that's right for you. Like all the dishwashers in this video, you have a stainless steel interior tub, which makes it more hygienic and resistant to odors than plastic or hybrid tubs. You also have three levels of wash action like the others, plus the third utensil rack, so you have an organized place to put your silverware and save room on the top rack as well. KitchenAid has their pro wash cycle to measure soil and adapt wash times. It's also exceptionally quiet at 39 decibels, and that seems to be their main selling point. However, the others on this list are below the 44 decibel quietness standard as well. KitchenAid has heated dry, but no special cycles for bottles and silverware like some of the others, as you'll see. The cycles are also basic and you don't have a delicate wash on this model. GE totally redesigned their profiled dishwashers a few years ago with some unique features. Their successful odor, mold, and moisture prevention package in their laundry has been added to this new line of dishwashers. They now feature microban antimicrobial surfaces even on the outside handle as well as a fan dubbed Ultra Fresh to dry residual moisture and to eliminate mold and mildew. Their wash system adds special sprays for silverware under the baskets and four special bottle sprays on the top rack. That feature's handy for baby bottles caked at the bottom with formula. If you drink protein shakes, the profile is designed to eliminate that bottom residue. So you have the third rack for silverware and you also have the basket at the bottom, which has special sprays as well for really caked on utensils. They also improve the drying with a fan to remove excess moisture and speed drying even for plastics. For quietness, which is important if your kitchen is open to your living room, Profile is 42 decibels, far below the standards for quietness. However, unlike every other dishwasher we're about to compare, GE is quiet with a food disposer instead of a filter that you have to clean. As you would expect, the Profile has plenty of cycles, 11 in all. The only downside is the top spray is more like a sprinkler head than a full wash arm. It's similar to Bosch, which you can't buy anyway. Quick note, if you're looking to place a panel on a dishwasher, American brands like GE and KitchenAid will protrude from the cabinet and it won't look good with a panel stuck on it. Choose a European dishwasher instead, like the next model we're about to talk about. Beko has 12 cycles and 10 functions to wash any kind of dishes along with plenty of cycles and Wi-Fi functionality to turn the dishwasher on and off and to see time remaining on the cycle. Beko, like KitchenAid, is so quiet at 39 decibels, you can open it while running, thinking the cycle is over. So seeing the time remaining and being notified is a decent feature. Beko also automatically rinses their filter with pressurized water dubbed Everclean, so you don't have to clean it as often as the others. The racking is also good with the third rack up top for silverware and two spray arms with the sprinkler head on the very top, like the Profile and Unavailable Bosch. However, Beko has a new wash system called Corner Intense. Instead of rotating on a fixed axis like every other dishwasher, Beko is on a movable axis, so more water is sprayed in a square pattern. This makes sense. The dishwasher itself is a square. For special features, Beko has three dedicated power washes to power spray that gunk out of the bottom of your sports and baby bottles, as well as pans up to 12 inches deep. Their drying system is also updated with their self-dry, opening the dishwasher at the end of the cycle to release the moist, steamier air. You'll also see this feature in the Bosch 500 series and all Mila dishwashers. It's simple, but it works. Beckel also has a cool feature to reduce odors using an ion generator. It pulses negatively charged ions throughout the inside of the dishwasher. This LG dishwasher has some great features with three levels of washing as well as decent racking with the third rack up top for silverware like most competitive brands, plus all the most common cycles. Like the others, it's below the quietness standard at 42 decibels. Like Beko, it also is Wi-Fi enabled. Now, let's talk about what really makes this dishwasher unique. 
steam. This washer dispenses steam at 212 degrees. Steam loosens tough stains, like those baked on lasagna dishes you left in the sink the night before. Steve burned cheese onto a pan and then took it over to his neighbors who actually have this dishwasher, and he was impressed with the results. Steam also removes the spots on glasses in the dry cycle. The arms on this dishwasher are oblong, so the washing is in irregular patterns, washing more places than the standard round arms of a normal dishwasher. Most dishwashers in this price range use condensation drying, which is an industry term for heat from the wash, jet dry, and time. LG has dynamic drying, which is their term for adding heat and steam to speed the drying process. Mila has their quick and tense cycle for their one hour dry, but it starts at $1,200. The unavailable Bosch has the speed 60 cycle that lasts for an hour. By using heat and steam, LG effectively washes and dries dishes in one hour as well. So this dishwasher has a unique combination of steam with the better washing and drying capabilities. But here's their best feature. LG is the most reliable dishwasher sold at Yale with only 3.5 service in the first year, according to our 34,000 service calls logged by our service department just last year. So what do you think? Which dishwasher do you like best? Leave it in the comments below. If you're looking for the best dishwashers at any price, lower or higher, click this video and thanks for watching.